So, well, after years and years of the end of Sopranos, one of which is widely regarded as one of the best television series of all time, we get a prequel film titled The Many Saints of New Arc. Well, I got a chance to watch it early. If you want to know how I get to see all the movies in advance, jump down into the description of the video where I have explained in detail of how I get to see all these movies earlier and left my review even before the US embargo. So now let's jump onto the actual Many Saints of New York review. The premise reads, young Anthony Soprano is growing up in one of the most tumultuous eras in New York's history. Becoming a man just as rival gangsters begin to rise up and challenge the all-powerful Demio crime family's hold over the increasingly race-toned city. Caught up in the changing times is the uncle he idolizes, Dickie Moltisanti, who struggles to manage both his professional and personal responsibilities and whose influence over his nephew will help make the impressionable teenager into the all-powerful mob boss we'll later come to know as Tony Soprano. So yeah, it sounds more uh, interesting to dive deeper into the Sopranos world, but was it really necessary? I don't think so. I mean, it's, it is good, yeah. Sopranos is one of the best television series of all time. Its legacy is great. But this prequel film does not do justice to its legacy because it's really unnecessary and the story of the film doesn't do anything new that differs it from the Sopranos. I mean, it's very different, but also at the same time, it's not as good as the Sopranos was. It just fails to manage everything into its runtime. I mean, we had Sopranos, which has 86 episodes and that story was so amazing. It, it was a masterpiece. Uh, it's one of the most celebrated television series of all time and Many Scenes of New York is not a really popular film. I mean, Sopranos film uh, fans will still watch it, but it's just not as good as The Sopranos was. It, does, it completely gives you different feels and it has nothing new to offer. So Michael Gandolfini plays the role of Anthony Sopranos. Well, he really looks like his dad. His dad plays a role, played, uh, used to play the role of uh, Tony Soprano in Sopranos back in the day, but now his son is playing his younger version and it's just a top-notch casting. I must argue that this is one of the best casting uh, of all time, like he really, really looks like his dad and his acting was also quite good, I'm not saying groundbreaking, but it, you know, it was really great. So was John Bonthal as Johnny Boy and Vera Farmiga was good. Didn't really do a lot uh, that I had expected her to do, but uh, she was not given that much runtime. Alan Taylor was the okay. I mean, he's a director. He did his job, but he doesn't do anything new, as I said. So the direction is not top notch in this film. David Chase, what were you planning to do with this? Offers this movie, as I said, offers nothing new. The story was really predictable, like really predictable. I didn't expect that from Sopranos because Sopranos had a really unpredictable story with this crime uh, and all these gangs and mobs and all that. But this one was not that good. As for writing, that was great. That was really great. But story, as I said, doesn't blow us away. That's what makes the writing less and less special. No wait, I'm not saying this was a bad film by any means, no, it was not. It still offers as a standalone film, it still offers a great story. But when compared to Sopranos, I mean the story for, as compared to Sopranos is way short of that level. So it has that disappointment factor in it which leads to me giving this a bit of a, you know, mixed review for the film. As a standalone it is still quite watchable, so I think it's not that bad. So that as I will give this movie a 6 out of 10. Sopranos fans might enjoy it. I mean it's a kind of nerdy film. If you are a Sopranos fan you'll definitely watch it I know. And if you're not I think a lot of you might just skip it. So that was my review for Many Saints of New York. Uh, share your own thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks to watch, like, share and subscribe Film Villa.